Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Sophie Frey. Before I start, I want to remind you from you a like and from me another interesting video. Let's get to it. Scientists may do everything they can to make our life more comfortable and easier. And they do it great. Today I will tell you some things that changed their life totally and we'll not live without them. Let's get started. Now it's so easy to agree on meeting up with your friends. Just one text or a call and you're probably gonna go somewhere. And about 50 years ago, they had to, like, in person, they had to talk it out. In such a such a time, in such a such a day, in like seven days. And if you were running late, you couldn't even tell the other person who are meeting up with that you were gonna run late. <laughs> That's terrible! The first mobile phones were introduced 36 years ago. Way over two pounds and the battery lasted only half an hour. And the device was charging for about 10 hours. A nightmare, of course. Despite all those issues, and only select few could afford to buy, it was so expensive. Over the years, the mobile phone have changed their design, became lighter and better, and most importantly, more affordable. And when I was born, they began to produce smartphones. Not now, of course, they did not time to my birthday, but it just happened 13 years ago. So we begin to communicate in messages, take selfies, watch video, hang out, and social media stuck for, stuck for a couple of hours. Now even toddlers who don't know, how, do not learn how to walk and speak yet, they're moving their fingers across the screen. So both adults and children cannot imagine their lives without a smartphone. I cannot imagine my life without my phone. A smartphone is great, but what is it without internet? An ordinary phone just for calls. Now the global internet has covered almost every home. We watch movies online, read books online, study online, work online, read the news online. We do almost everything online. What is really there? Half of the students' essay and coursework are downloaded from the internet. On the title of the pages, only the name of the speaker and the name of the university changes. And our parents did not have all those life benefits. In order to create a report at least a week or even a month, they spent the, the, the library in research for inform of information. And the letters, grandparents said that they waited for the letters for weeks and they could even get lost along the way. What better even earlier, 200-300 years ago, their news was sent by Pigo Mail. Birds were considered to be the effective way to develop information. Ha! Now one click and voila, the message has sent. In general, how boring are insectors like grandparents, parents lived? I cannot imagine. The internet appeared about 50 years ago and it has split our life into two, online and offline. Another invention that has changed humans' lives is an airplane. Now we can easily move from one city to a whole other country and fly over seas, countries, oceans and all of that. For example, to Boston from my native Kazakhstan, I fly in about um, 19 hours. That's not fast at all. But we compare everything. In citizen years, they used to travel by horses. And if I would go to Boston by a horse, it will definitely not be three days and three nights like in a story. It'll be a while. I'm interested. Will I have to like swim on the horse? Uh, that, that, that's mm, not fun at all. The chance of seeing another country for most people would be reduced to zero. But so next time the flight, it suddenly gets delayed. Don't be nervous, just be patient. One of the most not replaceable things in our home is a refrigerator. It is this invention that is responsible for safety of our food. There are so many different refrigerators for sale now. 
There are so many different radiators, smart, well, a different system. Some can even control their own temperature in the refrigerator. Pour water in for any kind and any cost. And it's difficult to imagine what a several countries ago. People do not even have an idea about this applique. Previously, ice was used to cool food. It was collected in winter and kept in specifically designed places for the year. This mentado was used by almost all the citizens, both Greek and Romans and Chinese. Often food was stored in water bodies where the temperature is low. By the way, the first household design of the refrigerator was made 107 years ago. And at the time, the cost of that refrigerator was twice as much as a car. But now the refrigerators are more affordable and anyone can buy them. Doesn't, don't be surprised, friends. I have to do my laundry today. Agree, an unusual picture for a modern person. But early before the invention of the washing machine, for subtly, the cleaning process in the late 18th and then early 19th century improved. Were invented? No, not washing machines. It was still far from it. The washboard was, was invented, but that required essential skills. From rubbing to heart, the washboard could rip your hands. And the real breakout came in 1851, when mechanical washing machines were invented in the United States. And almost a century later, the first automatic machine appeared, without which we cannot imagine our life today, but always find something to complain about. Some come back from work and say, I have to do my laundry today. I'm sure almost every woman has this device, a hair dryer. A hair dryer was invented in the late 19th and the early 20th century. At first, it looked like something not like a hair dryer. It looked like a huge musical instrument. Naturally, they used to put it only in salons. The first portable hair dryer appeared in 1910, but they were not all portable. The way it was almost five pounds. The device began to acquire for a more familiar shape by the end of the 1930s. Now they are in every house and hotel. Women and men, adults and children actively use them. The hair dryer made life match easier. Women in the Middle Ages would be jealous of us. After all, drying hair was a really big problem because that's the reason why they did not wash their hair often and they had to dry their hair in extreme condition. To do this, they attacked a piece of pipe to an oven from which the hot stream produced them. Some put their heads in the warm fireplace. Specifically risky was when there was, was open fire. It was good that all of this is in the past of our life. That's why hair dryers made our life much easier. Now I want to talk about something without which our life will be dark. This theory should have taken the top position, but I decided to start with things that would not like be the, in the household that would not work without that thing. To clear out that those things would not matter without, drum roll please, electricity. We need it in almost every of things that surround us. Our phones, our computers, our washing machines, our refrigerators, hair dryers, and everything of that. You would not be watching my video without electricity. Since the discovery of the electricity, and this happened about 200 years ago, knowledge about electricity was improved. This also introduced a new technology. And now we even have electric cars to understand how much this is. A necessary part of our life. Imagine that all the humanity is left without light. Not for an hour, two, or a day, but forever. From space, it would look like the whole planet was just shut off at once. We would have to ride horses again and produce things made by hands. There would be no um, 
internet, and television. No! It's such a nightmare. I don't imagine my life without internet at all. I got two million followers on Instagram and TikTok. No, I'm good, you know. I agree, so, so perspective. And it's really good that we have electricity and all of those technology improvements. Let there be light. <laughs> Hundreds of years ago, people lived in a completely different way. And the modern line for uh, all those people who lived in the past would look so fancy. Of course, in today's episode, I was not able to cover everything. But if you are interested, I will definitely come back with this comment. And for today, it's it. And thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to follow, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that subscribe so far. If you your button is red, turn it into a gray and there will be a lightning right over here. And don't forget to like this video, ring the bell, turn the notification thing on so you find out about my first video, <laughs> next video first. And thank you for watching this video. I love you all and thank you. See you later.